achievement is without parallel in the world, though we are only a small country. As the citizens of an independent country, we must preserve the qualities we have developed in the testing period before independence. We must work even harder than in the past. There are moments that define a generation, and there are generations that define a moment. The conference agreed on 8th June that Trinidad and Tobago should become independent on 31st August 1962, and that it wished to be accepted as a member of the Commonwealth. Those who came before us seized the moment and gave us a future that was only possible because they were willing to work for it and work as one nation and one people, striving at great cost and great sacrifice. Together they aspired, together they achieved, together they prospered as they shared the burden and the benefit, improving the landscape of our lives. The hard work and ingenuity of our people has been the wellspring of our nation's economic well-being. is the way to move. We must produce heavy if we want to improve. This is not a time for idling. Let we cut out all this skylarking. And every man do we share to keep with others down here. Like the many generations before us, we must now come together and forge a future of renewed promise by investing in our prosperity, transforming the methods we use to produce, and doing it all with great pride as we keep our eyes on 2020. Diligently, we must develop an attitude that accelerates smart growth, ensuring that Trinidad and Tobago's competitive edge stays forever sharp Productivity, prosperity, and pride. It takes a strong foundation to fortify the pillars of Vision 2020. As a nation, we face a new set of challenges that can only be overcome by thinking more and working harder. Forging a more prosperous future will not be easy, but we have a history of racing ahead of our competitors. It's time to develop a new, more innovative approach to productivity. We must jumpstart our economy with new ways of thinking and a new spirit of cooperation. We are living through an age of fundamental economic transformation, but we must seize the moment. At the crossroads of new promise we stand, there is only one clear choice to make productivity our leading priority as we make Trinidad and Tobago more competitive on all fronts. Ours is a partnership, a shared common destiny of productivity, prosperity and pride, the cornerstone of our growth. Personal responsibility, self-reliance and hard work, our nation must come together to work and struggle for a better future. We must renew our resolve. Now is the time to join together, and Trinidad and Tobago has no better partner than each other. Now is the time to join together in competitive business through constant cooperation and shared sacrifice to work harder, produce more, and progress further. But it requires sharing the burdens of development on the road to develop world status. As we journey into the future, we can follow the footsteps of our past and the many cultures that have left its imprint on our land. What we do at this moment will be watched and remembered. Let us resolve that this is the moment we will make a collective change to honor our commitment to future generations by struggling to keep that promise of productivity, prosperity, and pride. To which I call upon all citizens to dedicate themselves on this our Independence Day. This is what I meant when I gave the nation as its slogan for all time, discipline, production, tolerance. A new approach that heralds in the Western Hemisphere the dawn of a newer, 
and brighter and better days.